Hello Sharks, I am Jonathan Little for PokerCoaching.com. Thank you very much for being here with me today. I am ready to review a 100-200 hand that was played on Poker After Dark. Make sure you check out Poker Go for all the episodes of Poker After Dark. And in this season, I was fortunate enough to be able to go there and review some of these hands on the show. I'll be showing you my short, short, short review of this hand later in this video. But let's go through this interesting spot that I think a lot of people mess up. So playing 100-200, Chamath Papatia raises it up to $1,000 from under the gun, which I think is fine and standard, you know, a little bit big perhaps, but certainly nothing insane. Um, there's a chance they were playing 200-400. I'm actually not sure. Whatever. He makes a standard preflop raise, folds around to Bill Gurley in the big blind. Bill seemed to play generally straightforward, not too out of line. He calls, fine. Flop comes, king of hearts, nine of hearts, six of hearts. And Bill opts to lead for 1,500 into the 2,100 pot. Definitely an annoying spot for Chamath. This is a board where, from a GTO point of view, Bill should not be leading with anything because it's very easy for Chamath to have all the nut flush draws, all the nut flushes, lots of good queen high flush draws, lots of good queen high flushes, lots of kings, right? So if this is a scenario where your opponent's range should be quite strong, you really just don't want to be making the pot big from out of position with much of anything. So if Chamath knows, Bill knows that, and Bill's still leading, this is probably just a fold with the Jack-10. But I know that Chamath has played with Bill a decent amount in the past, so he probably knows that Bill likes to lead kind of wide, because it turns out he was this time. So Chamath decides to float the flop. Fine. Floats the flop. Here we go. Turn comes the four of clubs, and Bill opts to check. So sitting in this scenario with just a gut shot straight draw, what should Chamath do? I want you to take a second and pause this video and write in the comment section if you think Chamath should check behind on the turn, planning to bluff the river, check behind on the turn, planning to give up, or should he bet the turn? Small, something like 2,000, or should he bet big on the turn, something like 4,000? I want you to pause the video and write in the comment section below what you would do in this scenario. All right, did you do it? I hope you did. Going through this active learning process will help your poker skills flourish. And I wanna see all of your poker skills blossom and flourish. And I want you to be the best poker player you can possibly be. To make sure you are bluffing appropriately, I made a quiz for you. Check it out at pokercoaching.com slash bluffing quiz. Open it up in another browser. Go ahead. Pause the video. Go take it. Come back. All right. This is a spot where I think Chamath has a pretty easy bet. He is going to get called on the turn a lot, though. So if you are going to bet the turn, you want to be able to have a decent amount of confidence that you'll be able to get some folds on the river. So I think you want to go something like 2,000 on the turn, knowing that any king's going to call, any nine's going to call, and any heart is going to call, with the idea that you're going to be bluffing on like literally every river. Because say a heart comes, you're going to be able to get the kings to fold and the nines to fold. And when a heart does not come, you're going to be able to get the ace high and the queen high and the pocket fives with a five of hearts to fold, right? So I think I like a bet of 2,000 in this scenario. You could also go bigger if you think Bill's just going to call with that same range and then fold it all out on the river. You have to realize, when you bet turn, you're going to get some folds immediately. And when you don't, you're going to be able to get some portion of that range that called you on the turn to fold on the river. So this is a spot where the bluff is mandatory. If you float the flop with this jack high, no heart, you sure better be bluffing when your opponent checks. I don't know anything about Bill's strategy, but something a lot of people do incorrectly is they will lead the flop kind of wide and then check the turn. We have the idea that they are checking and then folding out the vast majority of their range by the river. And if you're loose, aggressive, battling opponents like Chamath, know that you're going to play very straightforwardly on the turn. When you check, you have nothing or a weak hand. And when you bet, you have a good hand. They are going to pick you apart and they are going to win all the small pots where you just don't have a good hand. So Chamath does go 3,600. I like this. As long as he knows he's going to be bluffing on basically every river. This time, though, he doesn't have to. Bill folds. And Bill actually had queen-jack offsuit. 
Um, in this scenario, say you did lead Queen Jack offsuit, I guess you should keep bluffing the turn, interestingly enough. Kind of like Chamath's bluffing the turn. I think if Bill bluffs the turn, he's going to get called a lot of the time, and then he needs to bluff the river. And I actually don't hate it, because you may even be able to make a hand as good as a weak king fold by the river, or pocket queens, with or without the queen of hearts, right? Or pocket ten, something like that. So I think this is a spot where, if Chamath loads to flop, it's a mandatory turn bluff, which he does. But I think if Bill is going to lead the flop, which I don't recommend, but if you are going to lead the flop, I like betting the turn a lot because you know, you'll be able to get called by a lot of random ace highs with the heart that will then fold out on the river and a lot of random pairs that will then fold out on the river. So I think this is a spot where Bill just has to go for it. If you would not have gone for it in any of those spots, make sure you check out the bluffing quiz at pokercoaching.com slash bluffing quiz. Now, let's go take a look at the analysis I did at the Poker Go Studio about this hand. Before the break, Chamath made a crafty bluff with a gut shot. For more on this hand, let's go down to Jonathan Little. Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Little of PokerCoaching.com and let's analyze this interesting spot. When you are in position on the flop with a junky draw, like Chamath's gut shot straight draw in this scenario, you simply cannot fold too often, which is a mistake a lot of people make. When Bill checks the turn, Chamath correctly goes for turn bluff with his hand that probably cannot win at the showdown. When he chooses this medium sized, he should certainly continue bluffing on a lot of rivers because he's still gonna get called on the turn decently often. Especially if your opponent's turn checks typically indicate weakness, this is a play that will result in a lot of small and medium pots being pushed your direction. How would you like to play with me on Poker After Dark? Well, now is your chance. I'm giving away one $5,000 buy-in seat to play with me next season. Head over to pokercoaching.com slash pokerafterdark to enter the giveaway. All right, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this hand from Poker Go, from Poker After Dark. If you did, do me a favor, click the like and subscribe button below. Also, make sure to get in that giveaway. Good luck in your games. Have a great, great week, and I will talk to you next time. Hello there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You want me to let you in on one little secret to take your poker skills to the next level? All you have to do is click the subscribe button right here. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Very nice.